All right, guys. So, um, considering I sat down here to grade some stuff on Schoology, not many of you have turned stuff in. So I want to assume it's because we're confused on how to put work into the document. Even though you could type it in, but um, let's try this. All right, so here I am doing it on iPad. I did it on my phone. Android's very similar. So I'm just going to do it on this one. I'm going to show you how to insert work that you worked out on paper into the appropriate like question on a Google Doc or slide on a Google Slides program. So um, here is what you're going to want to do. Okay, First thing you want to do is open up the slides, whether you're going through Schoology or through your Google Drive, whatever. All right, so... Here I am. So if you're using it on your mobile device, more than likely you're, you're opening it through your Google Drive. Um, so open this up. All right, and I'll show you. Even if you're opening it up on school, you know, on laptop, it'll be a third way. If you're using a mobile device, okay, you're gonna find your um, Google Doc, right? So I have one here for the how-to video. So I'll just do the Google Doc first. <clears throat> right, waiting for it to load. All right, and then I'll show you some things on it I noticed with the mobile version of this thing. All right, so if you look through here, it kind of looks a little weird. All right, it's not too bad. Um, if you want it to look like how it does on the uh, on a laptop or something, uh, if you go and press this uh, print layout right here, it's going to fix it up. So now it looks more like a printout. Okay, so things are not all weird. Uh, so you saw like the title on the top here, date was kind of weird on there. All right, so this is how it looks, okay, especially when you bring it up on your... Um, on a laptop or something. All right, so say we're answering some questions. Um, to change the doc, you have to press this pencil in the bottom right, all right, and then it allows us to edit some things, right, so we can start typing or whatever. All right, so say I want to insert my work for figuring out these tire charts or, or, or was the parade from the quiz, whatever it's going to be. All right, so what I can do is um, press my press down my cursor somewhere in that uh, that location to where I want to insert the picture of my work all right and then you're gonna press this plus sign here at the very top all right and then you can put add an image all right uh, from photos if you have one stored in there if you already took a picture or you can just press from camera uh, initially it may ask you for permission to allow it to use your camera um, so then you get your work okay there it is all right and then use the photo would you like to, get to uh, go to your docs? Yes. Okay. And then it's going to insert into your document um, as so. All right. So there it is there. It may distort the thing a little bit depending on where you put it. And of course, you can resize the image um, if you need to um, to make it fit wherever you're putting it. Okay. So um, there is one way to do it on your um, on your tablet there okay another thing you can do is um, okay you can go back to edit all right put your cursor where you want hit the plus sign okay tap the image okay so you can get it from the photos on your um, on your iPad um, you can choose from getting it um, from your um, your uh, Google Drive account too as well. All right, so uh, there's different ways you can insert that in there. If you take a picture with this, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, uh, with the Android, you can go straight to the Google account. This one's a little bit different, but either way, if you want to take a picture first and store it into your Google Drive, that way you can go ahead and upload it from your PC, and I'll show you where we're going to do that. Okay, so um, the other one is, let's see drive a slides presentation all right so on this slides presentation all right it comes up uh, for Android you have to um, press edit the slide on there it'll give you an option so when I press on here with the iPad it's already done in that mode so that's pretty nice um, so so here is this one here that I gave you all you're able to type in your numbers as is um, so I made it uh, where you can fill it out then on here, say you want to put some work, double tap there. There's a cursor you can delete, type, or insert work here. It's, it's up to you. Um, so again, plus sign. All right, you want an image. You can use your camera. All right, there it is again. It may ask for permission. Take the picture. Use the photo. 
there it is. Resize it. I must have moved it uh, too uh, too soon before I took the image. Okay, and and there it is. It's in the slide. You can see it there. Going to the next one, and you can do the same thing that you were just uh, working on. Okay. Um, so there's um, those ways of inserting your photo there. Uh, another thing you can do is you can take a picture like so. All right. So now it's in your photos. All right, and then you can share this um, to um, whatever you want to put it to. Okay, and you know you know your computers probably many other ways, but you can put it on your Google Drive. Here, choose an account. So if you have multiple accounts, okay, you want to use your school account. All right, and then there's the image. Um, you can select what folder you want it in. So uh, you can choose, I say your AQR one I had y'all make earlier in the year. Okay, you can make another folder by pressing this one, and then you can name it like um, the changing tires assignment, and then you can upload all your pictures there, or take all your pictures there. And then go to your PC and grab them from your Google Drive and then insert them that way just by clicking insert uh, that I've been showing you all in class. All right, so there's a few ideas on how to get your stuff in there. Just using the camera straight from the Google Doc uh, is really, really easy um, to do. All righty, guys. Good luck.